Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Take a look at this darling quilt behind me. Isn't this sweet? This is just so pretty. I love the, the square block. This is the block we're concentrating on today. I love this fabric. This fabric is called Lottie Da and it's by Heather Bailey for Free Spirit. It's just a gorgeous line. To make this quilt, what you're going to need is one charm pack. That's your five inch squares. One jelly roll. That's your two and a half inch strips. And one honey bun. That's your one and a half inch strips. The honey buns are now being cut by uh, Kona uh, for Robert Kaufman, and so we get the solids in honey buns as well. For those of you who don't know, the pre-cuts, all the sizes, come in solids as well, but now they're even cutting honey buns. And when they do that, it really dramatically changes the look of your block, which I love, you know, just by a little smaller piece or larger piece that changes the whole block. So let me show you how to make this block. We're going to start with a charm pack. So here's our charm pack and that charm pack is going to be surrounded in a white frame. Now all the charm packs are going to be surrounded in a white frame so we're going to chain piece them. We're going to take our one honey bun strip like this and we're going to place our charm pack uh, right sides together on the, I mean our charm, our charm square uh, down onto the strip of fabric and we're going to sew that and we're going to place another one right next to it and just sew them and we'll do all you know the one side of the charm all at once and then we'll cut them flip them and sew the other side so let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how we put a few of these together all right now I'm going to set these up here and just line up my make sure my I've got my quarter inch lined up and I make sure that my Charm pack is right along the edge of the honey bun. And when it gets close, I just line up that next one. I leave about about an eighth of an inch in between. You can uh, you can do whatever you like. So I'm I'm going to uh, just do two of these to show you. And then um, but you're going to want to fill your whole strip with charms. I mean, you can put them all the way down the whole thing. So then I'm going to bring these over here and I'm just going to cut them apart. So we're just going to cut right here. If you have a little extra like that right there, see that little sliver? I just cut that apart and take that off. And we're going to go ahead and do the other side of these. So we'll take um, our honey bun strip and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to lay this honey bun strip down here and do the opposite side. Now I'll I just add the second one. Right sides together. Quarter of an inch, just like we always do. And now we'll trim these two. Just like that. And then I'm going to trim off this little excess. You can use your rotary cutter if you like. Um, I just find it easier just to scissor cut them. So now we're going to press these two back. So we're going to set our seams and roll it back just like this. And we're going to set our seams and roll them back. Now we need to sew the white strip on the other sides and um, we do it exactly the same way. There we go. So now we've finished sewing the white on both sides. We're going to clip them, clip them apart, and then we're going to press them open. Make sure those are nice and straight lines. We want to keep our, our edges straight. So we're going to set our seams and roll them back. Just like this. Set our seams and roll them back. So now we're to the bordering, the next bordering stage, which is done with a jelly roll strip. This is a two and a half inch wide strip cut by the width of the fabric. And we're only going to do one block at a time when we do this. And the reason we only do one block at a time is because we want the same strip to go all the way around it. So um, the method is exactly the same. We take our block over and, uh, and sew it down quarter of an inch. We're going to sew both sides first and then we'll sew the top and bottom. Now we get to trim and iron and our block will be finished. 
Hooray. All right, so now let's iron it back. And roll it back. And there is your finished block, just that quick. Now, what you're going to want to do on these blocks is you're going to want to, um, you're, if you have a charm pack, there's 42 charms in there. And there's going to be 42 strips as well. So that's going to give you 42 finished blocks, which means your quilt's going to be six across by seven down. So that makes for a pretty good sized quilt. But you'll see the quilt here. You can see it has a sashing in between. So right here in between the squares, there's a sashing. That's done exactly the same way. We're going to use our inch and a half um, strip. And we are going to sew the pieces. Uh, sew one honey bun strip onto the top of our block like this. Clip it off and then sew the next block to it. So let me show you how that's done real quickly. So we're just going to do, this is a sashing strip. And because it's a honey bun size, it changes the whole look of our quilt. Where normally our quilt, you know, I, I tend to use, um, I tend to use a lot of jelly rolls. But now I think that I have pre-cut honey buns. What I use is a lot of pre-cuts. And now that I think that I have pre-cut honey buns, I'm going to have a lot of honey bun strips in there. All right, so this one gets clipped off. And then we're going to press that open. So set it and roll it. And to make our rows, what we're going to do is we're going to attach blocks together using this sashing strip. So the strip is there. Here's the next block we want to put on. And we're going to lay it right sides together. So I'll move it right here. Here's the block. And then we're going to lay it right sides together. Match up our edges so that we, we have a good straight line. Take that to the sewing machine and sew it down a quarter of an inch. So now I've sewn a couple of more of these together because I really want to show you how to put this uh, sashing in the middle here. Quilters sometimes struggle with this and um, because you have to match up these seams and that always seems to be this big headache. So I'm going to show you how I do it. First, we're going to sew the sashing on to um, the top row of blocks. Now one of the things to remember when you put sashing on is that you want your sashing piece to be on top. And the reason is, is because your feed dogs take in more fabric. And if you have your sashing strip on the bottom, it might take in more fabric and you might end up with a uh, ruffly sash or border. Anytime you put a border or a sashing strip on, you always want that piece to be on the top. So now let's iron this open. And then I'll show you all my tricks. Here we go. So now we want to add these rows together. And one of the things that tends to be really hard for, um, uh, for all of us is we'll, we'll put this row on here, we'll measure it all up, we'll sew it down, and when we open it, it's off just a little bit. And these sashings don't line up from row to row. So we want to help you uh, line those up, and I want to show you how I do it. I don't know if this is how the whole world does it, but this is how I do it. What I do is I make sure that my, um, my edges of my sashing uh, are, are lined up with the sashing long before I bring it up to the top. So I bring it up like that, and I just slide it up to make sure that it is exactly right. Then I hold it down, and I open it up, and I look to make sure that my sashing that that's going to match up even with a row in between. So I hope that makes sense to you. So then I put a pin in there <laughs> and make sure because I'd much rather pin than rip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin in here and then I'm going to look at it again because I want to make sure it's right. Oh, look, see, it's just a little off. So you just have to really check that. So I'm going to do this method again. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to slide it right up here make sure that it's all lined up. Now if I could pick up that pin. There we go. So now let's look. Oh yeah, that's much better. See how nice and straight that is? So now let's head over to the sewing machine and sew that together. So as you're putting your rows together, you will want to make sure that your um, 
every block, wherever there's a sashing, that you've pinned that and made sure that that is fitting together just perfectly. Okay, so we're almost down to the end of our row. There we go, and we've sewn that sashing on. So now we'll iron it open and see if we, if we matched up good and all lined up. Looks pretty good to me. There you go. So as you put your quilt together, you're obviously going to have more blocks. You just need to make sure that you go ahead and pin. Every time there's a sashing, you want to make sure that you pin it and line it up really carefully so that your lines are nice and straight. And pretty soon, you're going to have an awesome quilt like this too. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.